All right, welcome back. Todd Morris with you here on the Bulldog Radio Network, and it's time to sit down with Yo Miss Right Head Football Coach Terry Curtis for our weekly pregame interview. And, uh, Coach, another incredible come from behind victory last week over Faith Academy, down 20 to nothing, just under two minutes remaining, I think, in the first half, and we go on to score 21 and unanswered. And, uh, nail biter, hold on, 20, or 34 26. What was your feeling going in? As we got close to the second quarter, midway through the second quarter, did you feel comfortable with where we were, or were you nervous about, like, oh, my gosh, here we go. This is just – nothing was going our way. Well, you knew you were playing a team with a lot of athletes. Yeah. So that bothered you that could you stop them at where they wouldn't score. And, uh, you know, but we, we did score right there before the half to kind of settle the game down and, and got it to 20-7. to seven. Uh, We knew we were getting the second half kickoff. Right. Uh, we knew we'd been close on other kickoffs. And we kind of told them in there, said, we got to return this kickoff, if not all the way, good field position, go score. Now we're back in a 2014 game. Now we're back in the, in the game, and we'll see what, what happens from there. But, uh, no, it was, uh, again, you know, everybody said, why did you say to them at half? Lord, we, we, we handed them one on the, on the kickoff return. Uh, we'd fumbled on the three, yeah. on first down and go. Uh, you know, just some things that we had done in the game. They they knew they screwed up. You didn't have to to really badger on it. And uh, you know, this week playing uh, this week's game has been a lot tougher. And probably I've hollered more this week than than I did in the last two or three weeks. Right. Because they know who they're playing. They know the importance of the game. Uh, they knew it was big in the region. And. Uh, uh, you know, but again, a, a funny quick thing right here. I got asked after the game, uh, maybe by one of the newspaper guys that were there, uh, Coach, how many times in your career have you been down 20 to nothing and come back and won? And it didn't take long. I said, not many, because <laughs> if, if you're not going to make a habit of doing that right. very often. Yeah. So, But it was one of those times, and proud of the kids, and uh, even though we didn't play great, we did not play – uh, real good on defense, and uh, you know I think the James kid probably got tired yeah. uh, uh, after half. And, oh, absolutely, and yeah. that probably helped us too. So, well, I was going to mention that it looked like in the first half the defense was struggling a little bit. Really weren't kind of sure of themselves, like they were a little um, I don't, just not comfortable with where they needed to be and what they needed to do. Second half was completely different. We came set edges. We were a little more aggressive. I thought. Well, I thought our corners were soft. They were supposed to be one setting those edges like you're talking about, and they didn't do it in the first half. They yep. sat there and waited and waited, so they just kept on running toss pitch whenever they wanted to and pretty much yep. uh, bubble passes. You know, you know, our guys were out of position, and uh, and, and that went on for, for the whole first half. And, uh, uh, you know, I tried to find out Sunday from the coaches what the deal was. Is is the stuff too complicated or, or, or what? And and they said, Coach, it was just normal stuff we normally do. And people were uh, running the wrong way and not 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 bad. I, I thought all night our our uh, angles were, were was really bad. You know, we're, we're not going at the top shoulder. Quarterback kept getting outside of contain all yeah. night long. So, you know, that and, and then, uh, you know, but uh, I thought Barton played better. Uh, I thought we made some uh, nice catches and throws. And Cole was cold and uh, – you know, we found a way to win the game. Well, I, I um, was going to bring that up next. The passing game seemed to come to life a little bit. We were 10 for 13 in, in the ball game for 98 yards and a touchdown. But I thought the key there was we had some key third down conversions in the passing game, extended drives, kept the momentum. And momentum was just huge in that game. Well, it was. And, and, and we did do that. And, yeah. uh, and you know, two of the passes uh, uh, were drops. Yep. So we could have easily been 12 out of uh, 13. 12 yeah. out of 13. But. Uh, but I thought he played better. If you notice, we're moving the pocket a little bit more. Uh, we're not standing back there. We have a hard time protecting uh, with our slide coverage in there with our guys. So we've gone more to, to moving outside the pocket and doing those things. And I think that's helped Barton and it's helped our, our linemen. And we, you and I sat right here last week and we talked about the need to make big plays. And how was that going to happen? And, and as you said, it happened to start the second half. The guys knew you could just see the whole atmosphere of the game changed with that 85 yard touchdown return by Cole Blaylock. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like I said, we had a couple chances in the first half. The, the same thing with that. Guys hit the wrong holes and, 
and uh, did some things that uh, you know they shouldn't. They didn't hit the wedge well, like it was supposed to. Yeah. But uh, that was huge, and uh, uh, you know we're pretty good in special teams uh, when we have a chance. I thought uh, the key to the game may have been a couple Barton Elliott punts. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean the one at the one and, and the one at the end when we had to give them the ball back, and he booms one down there. And they had the James kid back there on punts and kickoffs, which they haven't done all year long. Yeah. So you, you always worry about him. But I thought those last two punts he had were uh, – uh, you talk about kicking games. Sometimes it's okay to kick. Yep. But he did an outstanding job doing that. We made the comment when Joe Lott picks up the fumble on on that play. We're like, boy, I wish he'd have just fell, fell down. down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to tell a kid not to score a touchdown, exactly. I mean, but you but go up eight when they, the they got a thing. chance still to and come at back that and point, score. That being a fourth down play, that yeah. was probably the best thing that could have happened to him <laughs> with uh, with us uh, uh, going and scoring. At least gave uh, gave him another chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the other thing we got to talk about is another penalty ridden night for us again, so to speak. Uh, um, you know, we had twelve penalties, eighty five yards. We had seven the previous week. I, I almost feel like. About you know, we're talking about a basketball player and shooting foul shots. You don't want to talk about it, but it's there. How, how are you addressing it with the team? It's there week after week. You, yeah. you know, it's kind of like fumbles and other things. You don't really want to talk a lot about them because they really get to thinking about them. But uh, you know, we had two or three motion penalties. We have a motion penalty on the half yard line, going on hands, no no sound, nothing, and we jump. You know, that just. Uh, that, that kind of stuff can't happen. Yep. And, uh, you know, so we did get on. We did stress that this week. And, and, and we spent the week trying to get better at, uh, at the little things, the technique things, the, the, the contained deals, yep. uh, uh, tackling in space. We missed a lot of tackles. And, and just doing our job and being where we're supposed to. Uh, I think we had the one holding call. And uh, we had the, the blind side block. And, uh uh, we had two uh, two interference calls. One of them was, <laughs> yep, I mean, it right. was about over there, just about <laughs> against that fence you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that they call a uh, pass interference. The ball was thrown 20 yards out, out of bounds. bounds. But, yeah, but, but anyway. uh, you know, not a whole lot you can do about it. No, you can't. No, you can't. So our third straight road game coming up this week, I feel like we're a baseball team, you know, a three-week road trip. Coming, you know, I don't know how this happened in the schedule, but hopefully it doesn't happen again going forward. But. Well, you know, <laughs> all these games, you know, were, were uh, uh, region games. Yeah. You know, so uh, other than T.R. Miller, and it just fell that way, but uh, it's kind of luck of the draw. And, uh it, it, you know, Todd, going on the road, even though you're not going very far, it's still different. Yeah. You're getting on a bus. You're going into a, a locker room that's probably not suitable or, or not big enough or uh, a mile from the, the, uh, uh, the field. Uh, the field. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, and uh, I just want to have a good week where we're home and it's a beautiful uh, Friday no. night, there's no rain. <laughs> you know, even other night, I don't think there was any rain anywhere. And Lord, we're walking to toward the field, like, and, and it just starts pouring down rain. And you go, what? You the, know? Only, the only place in Mobile it was raining was right over well, the top. Exactly. Of we didn't have any. We didn't have any rain yeah. suits or nothing. So, yeah. uh, I did see one of my coaches went on, and I said, I'm getting ready to take that from you, but <laughs> but it quit. But uh, you know, it's just. Uh, it's football season, and, yeah. uh, you know, it would be good to get back home next week. We need to go take care of business. It's the next region game. Uh, uh, they've been struggling, and uh, we got to make sure they keep struggling one more week. Yeah, they're 1-5, and five, um, but it is a region game, and – Next week's homecoming. Got to make sure the guys are concentrating on this week first, and we and we got to take care of business for this week. Well, yep. we do. Even though you look now, you know it'd be interesting to see St. Paul's plays uh, BC Rain tonight. BC Rain's tied with us still That's in right. the region, so uh, homecoming could be a, a big region game also. Yep. All right, all right, coach. Thanks for joining us on the pregame show. We always look forward to sitting down and hearing from you every week. Good luck tonight. Thank you, buddy. All right, I feel like we're, uh, like I said, talking about a baseball team. We're going to finish up a three-week road trip here this weekend, Satsuma. UMS right looking for their sixth straight victory here tonight in 5A Region 1 matchup against the Satsuma Gators. So let's take a break. We'll be back with the opening kickoff in just a minute right here on the Bulldog Radio Network, Sports Talk, 99.5 Mobile, an iHeart radio station. <laughs> 